it mess up everything else. At least the face is so cute. My husband said this looks like a maxi pad. <laughs> oh my god, like 20 years at least. So, what I did wrong. Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. So, today's video is going to be a little bit of a DIY video for a Christmas gift for our toddler. Um, so if you've been following me for a little while, or if you've seen any of my other videos, then you know that I kind of have this obsession with making my kids toys. It started by having a love for, you know, toys that were higher quality and, um, you know, just kind of handmade quality to them as well. And I just really loved those and I couldn't afford them. So I started just kind of making my own and I sort of fell in love with that process and so I'm going to kind of take you along with me on how I kind of come up with ideas for the toys I'll be making. So if you have seen my thrift haul video that I posted a while back then you probably remember this little carriage situation. So I, I talked about how I wanted to make a little mouse doll that was a lot like a Meleg, if I'm saying that right. I'll put another little link to their shop and everything. I just love their mice. Um, and I thought, hey, I could make that myself. I am not the best of all sewers, um, especially when it comes to more complicated stuffed toys. Um, I have a lot more practice in things like crochet and stuff like that. And so I really wanted to try my hand at sewing. So I did that yesterday and a little today. I did make, and he's a little wonky, but he's cute um, and made by me. So, you know, that's the best part. Um, but anyway, I did make a little, <laughs> a little mouse doll. Um, it's funny because one of his arms, I tried really hard to sew. I sewed this entire thing by hand because I was too scared to try and use the sewing machine that I'll show you here in a minute. So he's wearing some pajamas. They're little footy pajamas, basically. He is too cute. Oh, my sister and I named him Hamish, by the way. Um, my husband, I don't think, loves that. He, he really loves Ted Lasso, so he was trying to name him if you know, you know, you know, Charles, um, Edgerton. Is it Edgerton? Anyway, the third. <laughs> we ended up not doing that, uh, or I ended up not doing that. My sister and I thought Hamish was cuter. He fits kind of perfectly inside here, so we're going to do a mattress and a pillow and like a blanket, like a whole bedding set for him. I kind of watched a bunch of sewing how-to videos because I, I made my own pattern for this one. I promise the arms do match each other, but I sewed this one a little too much into the body. And so anyway, it was really hard. I've never done that before. Um, but you know, I don't have a printer. My printer's broken. So some of the free patterns that I saw, I couldn't even print. And it was like a blizzardy outside so we can drive anywhere. So I can't go to the library and print it, but I really wanted to make it. So that's what I did. And I did my best. And I gotta say he's pretty darn cute. So without further ado or more talking on my part, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of try to take you along with me as I do this little project for her and I hope you enjoy it. So first thing is I'm going to take off the rocker portion of this. It doesn't really work properly anyways and it's super cumbersome and I feel like she just get a little bit more out of being able to move it around with this piece. Um, luckily it's just screwed on like that through the wicker, so we're just going to unscrew it. Let's see if this works. Ah! Super tight in there. It's kind of really tight in here. Like a lot. I wanted to quickly share with you also why I'm not sharing this is because you can get better ones. <laughs> Than mine um, on YouTube or wherever you want to go get some patterns. Um, they even have some really, really good ones on Etsy. Go and look there. Um, there's one that I wanted to buy really bad that was like four bucks. Four bucks for the pattern and everyone, all the reviews said it was really wonderful. Um, but I just, I don't know. I ended up just making my own. <laughs> 
Oh, oh no, is it glued? Oh, it's also glued on, you guys. Let me get the screws out of the other one and then maybe, what, a razor blade? I really don't want to break the wicker. That would ruin the basically the whole gift. <laughs> Saw this, this inspired the whole gift. And so, oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, yeah, look at, just a bunch of glue. And then all these stupid screws are all stripped. I don't, why do I do this to myself? I feel like I always pick the hardest things every time. There's always problems, man. This is so unnecessary. Okay, so I did have to enlist my husband to help me. Um, he uses this trick. When you have a lot of screws that are stripped out and you can't get anything to help you undo it, uh, you take a drill bit and you drill through the screw. Um, and he said like relatively the same size or so as the, the body of the screw. And you drill through the top and you just do it kind of slowly. There will be a lot of metal shavings, so be careful. Um, there was with ours, we had to use a magnet to collect a lot of it. Then it'll just pop the head of the screw off. And so that's what we did for this one. So you see how it just kind of popped these two off there. Whoever put this together, like really, I mean, like they were starting to split wood. So like, see, look how, whew. I got all the metal out of here. It did damage the wicker just a touch. You can see where the screws were, but she will play with this like this a lot more. And obviously this will be easier to store too, but it's gonna have a little mattress inside there, um, cover those little holes up. So I'm not worried about that. I did get all the metal out, so that's good. Um, I do have to figure out how to work this. It's been, oh my God, like, 20 years at least since I've actually used a sewing machine and like I said this is the one I just got off of Amazon so it's small it's so cute I think it already comes like threaded like pre-threaded which is so nice because that was always the part I struggled with so I'll leave this linked below if you want something like this for little projects or what have you it wasn't very expensive actually from what I remember it was fairly cheap so I'll, I mean I don't know how it works yet but like I said I can still leave it linked for you if you want to take a look at it and see if it's something you would want I bought this like forever ago so hopefully this one's still available on Amazon if not I'll just link you something that's similar so I have to figure out how to do it all right so I saved from when Willow was a baby some of her like burp cloths but I thought this would be cute for a mattress because I really liked the texture a lot So first I thought we would do the mattress by tracing the bottom of the basket. I just have a pencil um, that I'm going to use. And I folded the fabric over in half. I don't really have a fabric pencil so okay and then to account for like the thickness of the mattress I, I don't know I don't know how to make it thicker y'all I don't know how to do all that so I'm just gonna wing it and we'll figure it out right first I'm gonna take my little pins and in the fabric together so that it stays together. Okay, so I just double checked like my tracing and it looks pretty good. So this is where I folded it in half 
and then you can sort of see my trace line and I I went pretty thick around uh, to give enough you know allowance room and then I am going to be stuffing this with batting I think to make it nice and plump so I have a ton of batting actually um, why I can't tell you I don't know I just do <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and cut some of this I think to go with it in between and then we'll try the sewing machine I might have to mark this with a pin so I can see better um, I know technically I guess you're not supposed to do that but I don't have anything else and then I'm going to leave a small gap to turn it inside like right side out but before we do that because it's round we'll have to like do little slits like this all the way around so that way it'll turn easier for us I don't know it's pretty thick actually that's nice okay gonna have to leave a pretty generous opening I think maybe on one of the sides thinking I'll be able to place this on top and then just slowly sew all the way around to this side let's see oh no oh, okay well what in the heck, man? Why can't this be easier? Oh, my goodness. Okay. Of course, thread came out. Oh, I'll have to try this again. We're down. Okay. Oh, no. That didn't work at all. You put the thread through here. Pull it through. Okay. Let's just sew this then, and maybe stuff the batting in afterwards. I don't know. Okay, now it's getting stuck. Okay, so what I did wrong is I was threading the needle wrong, the wrong way. <laughs> so I had to look at the little book again. And maybe before I lose light, I'll be able to sew at least one thing for you. Now we'll do a few stitches by hand first, it said. Okay, so I think that it sewed around it pretty good. Now what I remember when I was sewing before, you did like this reverse thing a couple times to strengthen these parts. I don't think this sewing machine does that. So, hopefully it's strong enough, you know, to turn around without ruining it. But we're going to trim a lot of this first and do the slits. Like that. All right, moment of truth, you guys. <laughs> okay, that's kind of cute. Look how cute. And then this will fold in when we stuff it. We'll fold this in. And then we'll just sew around again. Let's see if it kind of fits in our little bed here. Oh yay! Okay. Okay, so that fits okay. I'm gonna take my batting. I'm gonna try to put stuff it in there. I was originally gonna obviously sew it like in it, within it, and that just was not, it was too thick for this little sewing machine, so that was not working. <laughs> so you just fold these bits so that it kind of lines up. I could do a stitch by hand that closes this up like that. 
and then I will sew a top stitch all the way around the little mattress. I think that'll just look cuter um, in my opinion and I, I feel like it might help hold this closed a little better. Who knows? I, I don't know. I kind of overdo. Good morning. It is the next day so we didn't miss much at all. I just closed the seam. The reason why the string is still attached after I sewed it is because I thought what if we put like tufts in the mattress? Won't that be so cute? Maybe we should figure out where they should be, huh? I'm just gonna eyeball it, I think. One, two, three, four. I think we should do four tufts. Well, that's three, but <laughs> I can't count. Four tufts and then one in the center on the top and the bottom. Um, since it's oval shaped, I think that'll look good. Okay. So let's start with the middle tuft. So I believe what we'll have to do. Oops. Okay. So what I think we'll have to do is just kind of eyeball it and find the center here and bring, bring the needle up through and then we'll make like an X stitch and pull it tight so we'll just kind of poke it down through the other side and then we'll come down through the back again pull it down and then like making the X, I guess. There we go. Kind of tie it off real quick. Okay. There's the first one. That's already looking really cute. I had just enough thread, y'all. What? Okay, so this is the front. So we did our little tufts. It's definitely not perfect, but I think that adds to the charm um, a little bit. And, you know, just the handmade quality. I just eyeballed it. So we just did the four tufts on the side and the two in the center. I guess I could do, like, a few more, but... That's okay. Let's do the top stitch and then we'll kind of see how it looks and if I'll, if I add more or not. I get really nervous starting because <laughs> every time I think I'm just going to go too fast. sort of flattened it just a little bit but I think that's all right <laughs> so the top stitch even though it was really it's I feel like that would be really cute um I do also feel like it sort of took away from it just a little bit, which wasn't my intention, but that's okay. I brought up my big box of things because I like fabric bits and felt 
because I kind of don't like the idea of the fabric I was picking before. Something different would be better. This green is cute. Little stripedy print. That could be cute. Stripes can be hard though, especially with sewing if you're not good at keeping them, you know, straight. <laughs> so that could be hard. Um, just like this little pattern. Um, so let's see which one might look the best. I always love this green. It's a pretty green. I wonder if it goes with the other green. Maybe we like pair these two greens together. Like one could be the blanket, one could be the pillow. This is this, see this is how I work this stuff out. I just kind of like a lot of my toys I wing most of them. <laughs> I just kind of like have an idea and then I just roll with it. So we've got the mattress. We've got little Hamish. Let's see. Hmm. Is it the basket? Is the basket the wrong color? Do I need to stain the basket? Does it need to be darker brown? Let's see. I think we're going to go with green. I think we might stain this wicker. I got it folded, got my thread ready. So I don't remember exactly what this, okay, that didn't work, what this stitch is called, but um, I do sort of remember that it's kind of invisible a bit, if I remember right. But like I said, I don't really remember exactly what it's called. Um, mattress, maybe. Instead of mattress, maybe it's like a ladder. I don't remember. Something like that. But I'm really close to y'all, sorry. But basically, you're sewing the seam. I don't know how to explain this. You're sewing upwards like your seam, but you go on one lip of it and then the other lip and then one lip and then the other lip. And then by the time that you get to the end, it's invisible and it kind of seams that or pushes that seam together. But anyway, like I told y'all before, I am no professional sewer. All this sh crap is uh, like self-taught and it ain't great <laughs> on some of uh, on some of these little DIY projects I will tell you. Like this one in particular you know just isn't the best. But that's okay. You only learn by doing. Okay, I'm just gonna sew this puppy closed and then we're gonna try to work on a pillowcase and blanket and stuff. My husband has an appointment, so I gotta figure this out. But see, look, it starts to sew it sort of closed and uh, sort of invisible, right? Look at how cute that pillow is. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna make a pillowcase with this cool green color. I just think it'd be cool to have it be green. 
and I like the way this pattern is. Actually, let me look at a couple of others before we really decide. This is my problem too, I'm a little indecisive. So I also have some that are like, you know, more gray or black even, you know, like these colors. This one's kind of cool with the brown tones in it. Ooh, we may be switching it again, guys. We're gonna do this one. I, and I'm not gonna stay in the wicker. I love the fact that this coloring pulls out the coloring of the wicker. So we're gonna do this. I know it's bland and blah, but we'll do something fun for sleep mask and everything else in the little bear or whatever that we make. So a straight line, down this way and this way. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie these little ends in a knot just so I can make sure they're like extra secure. It just really makes me nervous and I don't think it's going to hold super well before we turn them inside out. So I'll do that. I'll turn it inside out and see how the pillowcase looks. situated. Now we need to move on to the blanket. So I've got the same fabric for the blanket and I think I want to do kind of like a quilted sort of look to it. This way now um, for the whole like quilted effect. I hope I love it. Uh, who knows? That's kind of cute. <laughs> um, I feel like if I were making this professionally, obviously I would do a much better job. Make sure everything is square. Make sure everything is straight. And mark all of that but since this is just for my daughter I'm not worried um, about it being perfect. I might add felt to the bottom just so that way it doesn't scratch up any of our furniture or any of her furniture. I am once again losing daylight. It's probably going to be dark soon and um, I won't I probably will stop here I already posted on my community on YouTube that um, this is taking a little longer than I expected. I think the Thanksgiving holiday, um, I, I understand if you're not 
American or, or you don't celebrate Thanksgiving. Um, I think Americans, you know, I'm about to sound so dumb, but I think Americans are the only ones who have Thanksgiving. Um, you know, I don't know if Canadians do or not. Um, but anyway, so if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, I'm sorry that I can't get this video up by tomorrow, by Tuesday, um, like I planned, but um, hopefully it'll be better and worth the wait is my, my hope. I'll check with you guys tomorrow and we'll hopefully have some more little tiny details that we'll add on to finish this up. Um, if you've watched this far, I do appreciate you sticking around, working through this project with me. Um, I had an idea, but I didn't want to have a video that I was trying to teach you guys. I wanted to kind of show how I teach myself <laughs> how to learn things as best I could, and hopefully that came across um, in this video. But uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys in the morning, and we'll go back at it again. Okay, so I know that I just like basically recorded this entire thing and we were going to work on just like the little bits and bobs tomorrow. I don't, I'm not loving it. I'm just not like my husband said, this looks like a maxi pad. <laughs> and he isn't wrong. And now that's all I see. Um, I'm not too upset with these but I feel like it just the together it's not it's just not the vibe you know it's just not what I'm picturing for cuteness in my head and I keep trying to go back and look at like pictures on Pinterest of like doll mattresses and doll bedding and all these things and are all these really cute patterns and I just don't know if I have the right fabric now but what do you guys think? I'm going to sit you down. We're sitting in my room. What do you guys think about this? Is this giving mattress vibes, but like cute doll mattress vibes? There's this really bright one. Ooh, that's, that might be, that's too much for me. <laughs> or, ooh, look at that. That, that piece there. Maybe I can be more selective. We've got this one here which is fun little pattern I'm just starting to second guess my decisions here because they're not working I didn't want to have to go and buy a bunch of stuff or anything like that this might be too much that's like picnic blanket I'm thinking we change we change a couple things we make it a little bit more fun so I might do that tonight I think I'm gonna decide I loved the idea of reusing her burp cloth and all that, but it just, maybe it's just because it's too white, like stark white, and everything else is just kind of warmer, and that's just like not really working. I have no idea. So I think what we'll do is we will try to just rethink this a little bit. Why do I always do this? I always do this to myself every single time that I have a, like an idea and a, like a vision, it's like, I don't have the things to actually execute that. I just thought I could use what I already had and make this cute Christmas gift. But yeah, so comment below, like right now, what you think I should do. Just let me know what you think I should do. Obviously, that's going to be weird. I'm already going to make a decision, but I still, I'm still, i still curious about what you guys think. Because I'm getting overwhelmed. I just want it to be cute and perfect for her. And I know that she's not going to care about what color anything is or the pattern on stuff or if it goes together. She just wants to play with it. I just want her to truly love it and it be something pretty <laughs> and nice. I don't know. I'm going to figure this out. See y'all tomorrow. I made a different um, mattress. And then I'm like, Ooh, okay. 
we'll, we'll wait till next year, but expectation and this pressure to put on such a wonderful, magical thing. I am not there yet. I don't think it's complete. <laughs>